Hey guys, uh, Michael, uh, CEO of REN. Um, so we'll be serving, as, as Daniel mentioned, we'll be serving as a wrapping entity as well as a green packaging entity. Um, so yeah, CEO of REN, been, been there since 2018. Um, so yeah, I'll just dive into it. I'll go over REN, kind of our role as a GPE, and then kind of takeaways essentially. So um, REN is essentially an interoperability protocol. So we take an asset, custodial it, mint a one-for-one -one representation on Ethereum. It can be Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, doesn't matter, just, just a layer one or layer two. Um, but two important components to, to keep in mind uh, with regards to GPE is RenVM is fluid and it's a composable. And what I mean by that is essentially the minting and burning process of turning a real Bitcoin into a wrapped Bitcoin is fluid. So it's permissionless, no KYC, a user sends in real Bitcoin to an address, wait six confirmations, and then a wrapped Bitcoin comes out. So keep that concept in mind as well as the composability. So it can, RenVM is a network, so it can essentially uh, call a smart contract at any point um, with no human intervention. So that's another important concept to keep in mind as, uh, as we move forward. So this is kind of how it works just in general without, you know, this is just how RenVM works. Yeah, again, takes real Bitcoin, mints a one-for-one -one representation on the host chain, and then off, off it goes to DeFi. So that's, that and then we get into the GPE system. So again, real Bitcoin, wrap Bitcoin doesn't matter. Uh, it comes in and then combines that with an ERC20, which is a you know carbon credit token. Uh, RenVM combines them or stamps them together basically, and then out comes a wrapped green Bitcoin. And again, this is uh, through kind of a smart contract call. So the user literally just sends in real Bitcoin. All this stuff happens under the hood, and then out goes uh, a wrapped green Bitcoin. So pretty, pretty straightforward, honestly. Um, and this is kind of how the contract approval process works. Again, this is under the hood. Uh, you approve the contract to spend your two funds, the carbon credit token, the wrapped uh, Bitcoin, and or a real Bitcoin. Um, those are spent, essentially, and then the carbon credit token is sent off to be burnt or utilized. And then again, uh, the output is a wrapped green Bitcoin. And I know we're talking about Bitcoin here, but it really can apply to any asset, uh, you know, any, any asset that's mined, essentially. So um, that's minting, and then we'll get into redemption. It's pretty, I mean, there's really only two ways you can trade it uh, for, you know, wrapped Bitcoin variants on any AMM, um, or you can just simply redeem it. There will be a premium for the wrapped green Bitcoin, of course. So by redeeming, you're kind of losing money. So I don't think anyone will actually do that. But nonetheless, it is an option because uh, they'll be custodial. So yeah, that's minting and redeeming. And really, I mean, for the I guess the two things you need uh, for it to all work is for each pool to be liquid, right? You need a liquid carbon credit token market. So you put them on an AMM. You incentivize the liquidity th through yield farming. Same applies for wrapped green Bitcoin. You need it to be liquid for you know firms to go in and out as they need, um, and, and for people to trade back to wrapped Bitcoin or whatever it may be. So, that's that. Yeah, well, this is actually ridiculously short. I didn't even realize it, but uh, yeah, I mean the end result is you know you have a you have really the first true global um, carbon credit market. You know by putting them on AMMs and people earning liquidity, or, you know earning rewards by providing liquidity. And ultimately, you have the seamless minting and burning of wrapped green Bitcoin with real Bitcoin. And that's it, pretty much. I know, yeah, wicked, wicked high levels. I'll answer questions if anybody has any. But that's it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> any, any questions before I leave? No? Good. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so the, I think the premium will be established by the free market, essentially. Um, I mean, you know, there'll be a certain set of, you know, whatever it takes to mine one Bitcoin, that'll essentially be matched by a carbon credit. And so let's just use two tons for an example. That two tons will have a specific price associated with it. And you'd assume that the premium would be, you know, Bitcoin price plus the two tons of carbon. Like, and the market essentially will figure it out. Um, yeah, so that's how I assume it will work. Yes. So you should assume you should wrap the Bitcoin now as opposed to waiting until it's done to zero. Yes, yes. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you.